Greetings, people of YouTube. Joseph Collins here, and it's been quite a while since I've done anything on this channel, isn't it? What's like over two years, I think? So I've got a thing that I'm going to do right now on this channel. It's a nice little game that's made by somebody and inspired by Capcom. And it is an intro. It is the year 20XDX AD. Earth has been kept safe by Mega Man... Oh, shoot. It's a Mega Man fan game. That's, that's what it is. It's a Mega Man fan game. What kind of sick person plays a Mega Man fan game? Press jump. I'm not going to do the voice. Well, maybe I will do the voices. Thinnings. <laughs> Thinnings. Thinnings sure have been quiet lately. Since you last put a stop to Wily's plans. It's a little unsettling. No sign of him for months. I hope I'll be ready when he returns. I know you'll be ready to... You'll be able to handle any... Anything. Anything. He throws at you. Or not. Yeah! And so on. Dr. Light! Wily's taken role and put Rush out of commission. Out of commission? Oh, that can't be good. That's not all! He's also sent eight robots t Wait, no, wait, sorry, I gotta do the right Dr. Light voice. That's not all! He's also sent eight robots to wreak havoc across the entire world! I know you really want to save all, but you must defeat the robots first. Don't worry, she's a tough girl. This is Let's Take On 014, Dr. Uh, Mega Man, Dr. Wily's Final Attack by Delp Labs. Not to be confused with Ronzer Labs, who did the infamous Mega Man PC games that nobody seems to like except me. Anyway, let's get right into it. Infinite Lives? I don't think so. So this is actually a prototype version of this game. Or an in-between. I, I, don't, I don't know what the proper term for it would be. But basically this is version 1.7. And the latest release... Oh, thank you. And the latest released version is 1.5. 1.7 is just something to uh, make the game run faster on slower machines. Now, since I'm at my desktop... Ouch. Uh, 1.5 runs just fine, even on really intense stages like Glacier Man stage. But I'm using 1.7 because I actually haven't played through. Uh, hello? Wasn't there an octopus battery there? Oh, whatever. I actually haven't played through this version yet, so... Come with me as I bug test. Whee! Checkpoint! I think. Maybe. I don't know. Ah! So you may have noticed this music is very familiar. This game uses MIDI renditions uh, captured from VG Music of mostly Mega Man and bass music, but there's some other stuff in it too. We'll get to that when we get to that. This is the intro stage music from Mega Man and Bass. I still want to know where that octopus battery went from the earlier. It just up and vanished. That's weird. That didn't happen on my very first playthrough. Oh well. And as you may have noticed, this game is very generous with the power-ups. 
Not so much the one-ups, however. So that's something to keep in mind. And Dr. Wily just ran off with Roll. And here's our first boss. The Proto-Eye. Sort of. It's not much more threatening than it was in Mega Man Power Up, as you might have noticed. But it's a lot smaller. Ow! It's not much more threatening, he says as he gets hit. <sighs> Alright. One stage down, several to go. Eight to go, as a matter of fact. You've got eight completely original Robot Masters, and I do actually mean that. These are completely original. We have Spearman, Earthman, Dr. Wily stage, which we can't get to yet, Weatherman, Glacierman, Digitalman, Soundman, Speedwoman, which is actually one of my favorites, and Copus Man, which I'll explain what Copus is uh, when we get to that. So let's do Spearman. Stage theme for Al. The stage music for this particular stage is, of course, Yamato Man. I think it might be the Complete Works version, or it might just be a, a remix of some sort. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, this way. I don't know if those are letters or just scribbles. And that thing, that thing, that lantern. The detection range on that is way too high. Mega Man is nowhere near that when you get to it. And this thing, what is this thing? Seems like it has a shield, but it doesn't. Ow. And let's see, it should be this one? Yay! Alright, enough of that. And ack! Pesky panda. Well, damn it! Anyway. So, we got a letter, and you might notice it spells a man's name Brian. What does that mean? I will tell you at a future date. And we have our first mini-boss. I don't know if this thing has a name. I don't know if this thing has a name, but... I'm sorry, I'm used to playing with slowdown. So this is actually kind of half-blind to me. Because I was playing it on a lap on my laptop, which isn't really a gaming laptop, so... And this gimmick is just ride the arrows. No, 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 no. No, no! Alright. And I'm sure those crusher ceilings are from somewhere, but I have no idea where. Wee And these things are reminiscent of I can't place it, but I know they're from something. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh. Alright. This game has a 
pretty generous checkpoint system. If you've played the other another fan game, Mega Man Unlimited, it's more of a classic checkpoint system there. What? What were you aiming at? What are you aiming at? I'm down here. Hello? All right. Anyway, if you've played another Mega Man fan game, Mega Man Unlimited, I feel like I've said that already, it has more of a classic checkpoint system wherein it's one checkpoint, uh, well, two checkpoints per stage, one roughly in the middle, sometimes after a mini-boss, and then one directly at the boss gates. But this one has... it's much more generous. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Ah! And away we go. Uh, nope. And away we go. I never did understand what that little purple streak down there is for. Ooh! There, that, yeah, do that. Do that more often. No, don't do that! There we go. Spearman is down. stretch there. A little victory stretch. And we got some nice Mega Man 3 graphics. Mega Man 3 and 4 on the Game Boy.